This is an introductory video to show you how to use PreserveSoft and the basic features of it. Remember you always receive your username and password when you sign up for PreserveSoft. And to log on to PreserveSoft for the first time you always type my.preservesoft.com and you can see here that a username and a password is required so send, put in the username and password that is sent to you in the email and log in. You can see that we have a PreserveSoft application and a PreserveSoft portal. The portal is where you update your personal information like your name, address, city, state, zip, and phone numbers. And you can do that by clicking on this little lock box here. Uh, you can put in a new um, home address or work address or cell phone number. What's important to note is that if you change your home address here, be sure to not notify the finance department to ensure that your checks are also mailed to that address. It's really important to choose your cell phone carrier here and click this button here for both. What that does is when a work order comes in your queue you're automatically notified through both text and email that a work order has come into your queue. We also give you the address and the ability to map it directly from that notification um, so you can see where that work order is and we give you the work order details so that in the case you're maybe near that job or gonna pass it on your way home you can finish it then instead of not having to go back the next day. If we go back to the PreserveSoft um, application, we can see the application here. And what this is is basically our work order queue. This work order queue allows us to see all the work that GCP has issued to you. We see it's Altisource, MCS, LPS, whether they're recuts or final secures or QC corrections, and the address of the property, the city, the state, and the zip. And so this is how we manage our work and this is something you need to be checking on a regular basis during the day if you have access to your computer or at least before you go out to the job the first thing in the morning to see if anything new came in your queue or definitely at night you're going to be working in this queue to upload work orders so this is a uh, just the first video the basic video on what PreserveSoft is and how to use it